Now let's bring the conversation back to Nigeria where the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has declared a seat at home in the southeast on Tuesday, September 13, to support its leader, Namdi Kanu, who is scheduled to appear at the Court of Appeal, Abuja, on that day. According to IBOP spokesman, Ima Powerful, at signs the court appearance of Kanu, the planned visit of President Muhammad Buhari to Imo State necessitated the sit-at-home order. The pro-Biafra group insisted that all five states in the region must be on lockdown on that day. Meanwhile, the Imo state government dismissed the threat by the indigenous people of Biafra to shut down the entire southeast region on Tuesday, September 13th. The State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Teklan Emelumba, said at a press conference in Oweri that IPOB was not in a position to threaten the president. He called that the date for Nambi Kanu's appeal hearing earlier scheduled for uh, 11th of October 2022 was last week brought forward to September 13, 2022. We are now joined this morning by constitutional lawyer Barrister C.C. Chukudi. He joins us live from Orca in Anambra State. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Are you able to hear us? Thank you. All right, great. I Thank can you. hear you. Good morning to good you. Good morning. All right, now let's yes, begin the conversation morning this morning uh, by talking about Namdi Akano's appeal date that was moved forward. Uh, would you know why this was moved forward and what does this mean? Uh, generally speaking, uh, when it involves a uh, criminal uh, matter, it has been a laid-down procedure, particularly on the current uh, Barista Chukudi, um, what we call a okay. director expedition yes, to ensure expeditious hearing of the matter. So part of the reasons why such decision was taken is basically on the content of the recent party direction, which ensures that all criminal matters should be given a judicial hearing. And matters of this nature, which involve a national importance, falls within one of the matters which must be given a judicial hearing. As such, Elongating the date or declaring far dates on that will run contrary to the provisions of the party's direction as it concerns criminal matters. So that is the basic reason why it was brought forward. Okay, well, um, I hope we, we will get to talk about the legal aspects, but let, let's talk about the Southeast now. The, the very first sit-at-home order started um, on the 9th of August in 2021, and uh, the, the indigenous people of Biafra has... Um, of course, continue to, you know, every now and then, you know, order new ones. Um, what has been the reaction of people in the Southeast, you know, after this new announcement was made, uh, declaring another seat at home on the 13th? Uh, it it, 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 you know, generally speaking, the people of Southeast are no longer attuned with the regular declarations of seat at home. We've mentioned before now that not only that it affects the economic positions of the Southeast dwellers, it also affects the regular government policies of people who attend their regular markets and government uh, work, such as civil servants, such as, as private sectors, and other market people. However, declarations of sit at home on 13, which is sequel to the court which is expected to come up on the 13th of uh, September 2022, it, it will affect the general economic positions of the Southeast dweller. But this would be to the extent to which people are compliant to such declarations. You see, people are tired of sitting down every Monday in, in at various homes without opening their businesses, opening their offices, and attending to their regular businesses on, on earliest Monday. So which of the dates which has been declared to be a seat at home would be the date which is going to court? As a matter of fact, people are not well at home with it. However, there is no option on what else to do, apart from the security dangers which it tends to pose for people who may default in such declaration. Um, can we talk about the legality, the legality or otherwise of this sit-at-home order? You know, what are your thoughts on this? 
It has no legal basis. I wouldn't waste time to answer that. It has no legal basis because there is no law which will guarantee that some group of people championing a particular objective or notion would declare a seat at home running contrary to the expected provisions of the public holidays laws or acts of the state or federal government. You know, one can only sit at home on a working day when there is a prevailing circumstantial position guaranteeing that. However, at this position, there is no provision either in the Holiday Act or Holidays Laws of the state allowing for such provisions or such declarations. So it is against the law. However, why people comply to it is because there is no provision for security warranties or guarantees of life and property which will secure the life of people who would ordinarily stand on the positions of the law not to proceed with such declaration. So it has no legal basis. It's affecting the, the legal section because no court, as we speak, it, it's bold enough to sit on those days except to few whose locations are within the capital cities of Anambra State. Well, now let's, let's talk secure. about, now you've spoken about the legality of it, you know, but, you know, we've seen that people most times have complied somehow, some way with the sit at home orders. If you have followed also in, in uh, parts of the Southeast, you know, every Monday, I think even in Enugu till now, Mondays, people still sit at home. So I, I want to talk about the, the president going to Imo tomorrow. Uh, Governor Hopos, Hopos Odima has stated that, you know, there will be no sit-at-home um, order or anything like that. Uh, what do you expect to play out tomorrow as the president visits Imo State? We are talking about the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And we are talking about an order given by the state governor of a particular state. These two persons are the alter egos of that particular state and the law. So there must be apparatus put on ground to ensure that such visit is not marred by violence or in any form trying to truncate a lawful progress of democracy. You see, government is an institution. You see, government as an institution backed up by fundamental laws. There is no way a non-fundamental laws or non-fundamental organizations can make an order barring or trying to run counter to the provisions of an extant law. So the, government, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria's visit will not be affected by the same sit at home. It's a self-decision people have made to. The provision, you could remember, this is not the first time such a thing has happened in Imo State. We remember the first project Pope was the Ma Commission in Imo State. There was a declaration that all the people who are agitating for this particular set would sit at home. That day, it was like a public holiday. Not too many people uh, uh, came out for the occasion. That would be my anticipation of tomorrow. People by themselves may decide not to honor the event, However, um, seems we might be having some tech some principal positions, such as the Igwe officials, may be aware and may come out for the position, so it will not affect it. All right, uh, Mr. C. C. Chukudi, thank you very much for your time this morning. We have less than 24 hours to see how this event turns out tomorrow. Yes, yes. All right, enjoy the rest of your thank day. Thank you. It is my pleasure. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.